Uh, my name is Joe and I want to share with you a uh, 3D printed reusable face mask. Uh, it costs about 40 cents to create. I uh, use 19 grams of PLA. Uh, one of the, some of the benefits associated with this is you can use any type of filter you have laying around, be it uh, you know, paper, napkins, or paper-based napkins, tissues, uh, old rags, shirts, uh, even you know, different types of filters that you have, copy filters, bandanas. All right, here I have a, a bandana, right? it's uh, folded into quarters, so you have four layers, um, vice two should you just wrap around your, your face. Um, one of the benefits associated with this is that uh, in addition to all the different types of layer filters you could use, um, it's uh, quickly changeable. As you can see, I just put a bandana in here uh, to where I can change the different types of filters. Um, and it's uh, it's fairly comfortable as well. So here's a one example of me using just a banana. And as you saw, how quickly I put it on. Um, other benefits associated with this design is it's uh, thin enough. And it's also uh, short enough. I guess it meets all the requirements of the U.S. Postal Service. Service the uh, height, weight, thickness and length to be uh, mailed uh, via a uh, one forever stamp. So I can put this, this piece of paper, put a stamp on it, it weighs less than an ounce, and uh, it can be sent anywhere in the US for one forever stamp. Uh, other benefits associated with it is it's uh, quickly sanitizable. So uh, here's an example. I've got some very, very hot water, boiling water, and uh, just so you can see the steam, uh, there it is. All right, you can stick it in. PLA doesn't uh, uh, melt at 100 degrees, so the temperature which this boiling water is at. So you can quickly sanitize it, and then uh, we'll dry it off, and then uh, it's gonna be quickly utilized again. So that's the same piece. I'm gonna sanitize it, dry it off, uh, and. Uh, in this case, I'm going to put a tissue uh, in as my filter for a physical barrier. So uh, my, I will be providing the code uh, that I utilized in order to make this. Uh, you should be able to afford it to anyone with a 3D printer. And uh, within three and a half hours, they should, have it, should be able to print it. And uh, once again, it's 19 grams uh, of PLA. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is uh, print this one with TPU once I do have it, uh, but uh, not it currently do not have. And uh, so there you have it. There's one example of me just changing the uh, oh, fogging up my, my glasses. So I'm changing the filters and uh, once again. Um, you know, it's quickly uh, sanitized, meets the requirements to send with one posted, one forever posted stamp, and uh, you can change the filters very quickly. Um, if you have any questions, you know, please let me know. But uh, I'm passing on the code, uh, make everybody you like forward it to people, and uh, yeah, good luck.